People are always going to tolerate a poor quality video more than a video with bad audio quality. And with Premiere Pro's multiband compressor, you can make sure that your audio levels are perfect within minutes. Hi guys and welcome back to Editor's Life and today we're going to be taking a look at audio compression inside Premiere Pro. Now I don't know about you but if I'm ever caught in the endless 2am social media video scroll and I come across something that's too loud or too quiet, I'm just not going to give it the time of day no matter how good that video might be. So getting your audio levels in that sweet spot is not only important if you're creating work professionally but it's also important for people creating social media videos. So part of being a video editor is not only making sure that you're good at the editing side of things, you know, shot selection and making sure it looks nice, but audio levels, which are often overlooked, are really important. And if you look at this dialogue clip here, you'll see that it's very quiet at the beginning, the waveform shows that it gets louder in the middle, and then it goes quiet again at the end. You know, people who are new to Premiere Pro, they might try fixing this by right-clicking, going to audio gain, and seeing, oh, I'm a little bit low, so I'm gonna just pump it up. But all that does is raise the overall level of your audio. Something else that people often try is they'll start drawing in, you know, curves to bump this part up, and they might want to do the same thing at the end. And then they might bring the middle down and they'll start looking at the levels and saying, oh, is it more consistent and that kind of thing. But this technique's quite inconsistent in itself and quite often you will hear the audio fade between levels. So for this tutorial we're not looking at changing the audio quality or EQing or feedback issues or anything like that. We're just going to purely see if we can balance the audio from the dialogue at a nice level throughout the entire clip. So what I like to do when I'm working with dialogue is to add a multiband compressor and to do this you want to go to Window, Audio Track Mixer and then you'll see this little arrow here just twirl that down and it'll bring up your effect slots and then you'll see a little effect selection arrow here you want to click on that go to amplitude and compression and then go down to multiband compressor double click that effect to bring up your track effects editor and this is where we can increase output gain and dial in some of the other settings like your limiter and that sort of thing so for audio when it comes to dialogue you typically want to be somewhere in this minus three decibel region so what I tend to do is go to the quieter parts of the clip and see how far off that we are. And we're peaking around minus 24, 27 for the quieter parts. So what I'm going to do is half that number for the gain. Do the exact opposite for the threshold, so minus 12. For your margin differences, minus 1 decibel. And your attack in milliseconds, you want to set that at 1. And what you'll notice now is the quieter parts of this audio, and this is quite exaggerated, I've made the differences quite big, is now going around minus three. The louder parts are starting to peak a little bit, so a way to get around this is to simply just roll your channel back a couple of decibel, minus two is absolutely fine in most cases. And you'll see we're kind of minus three, minus five for the quieter bits. You know, we're getting up there to the zeros for the rest, but overall, the audio is a lot better balanced than before when we were at minus 27 compared to minus 3. We are getting consistent levels throughout and there are lulls in people's voices naturally so if little parts do drop below minus 3 it's absolutely fine. It's just the differences between the, the loud parts and the quiet parts that you want to bring closer together. So when working with multiband compressors and audio in general, if you start adding you know, music tracks, sound effects, that sort of thing, because your audio levels are so consistently high for your dialogue, you might want to also just stick a little bit of a multiband compressor on the master mix channel. And for this, just one will do, minus one, minus one and one. It's the same as before, but we've just pulled the gain right back, minus one on there. And even if you start adding you know, music tracks to this now, you're not gonna be peaking, you're not gonna be having distortion, and your audio levels throughout the entire mix are gonna sound a lot better. I've got a few more audio related tutorials for Premiere Pro in the pipeline so for those of you that have made it this far hopefully it's something worth subscribing for. If you found this tutorial useful you could help me out by leaving a like on the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.